Hello, welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. Another Wednesday, another whiskey review. So I've been reviewing some Brook Laddie whiskies. Last week I reviewed the organic. This week, moving on to the Isla Barley 2006. Just put those on the shelf. Now, as I said last week, Brook Laddie are one of these distilleries that seem to do just a huge amount of expressions. I said last week they do everything from unpeated whiskey to the most heavily peated whiskey in the world. They also have become kind of synonymous with making whiskies using local resources. Um, so this one's the Isla Barley 2006. Um, there is a new version of this out now, the 2007. So the barley they've used for this has come, as you'd expect, from Isla. So it's a little bit like with wine, where you get you know single vineyard wines, so you know exactly where those grapes have come from. Um, a lot of Scotch whisky and a lot of malt whisky all over the world, they import barley from you know England, from France, from Poland, from wherever. But there's kind of more demand now for producers to kind of specify where they're getting their ingredients from and the barley from. You know, obviously different places will grow different barley and there'll be differences in kind of what taste the spirit is. So this one's been bottled again at 50, it's 50 percent, so a lot stronger. Um, it's non-chill filtered, it's natural colouring of course, and on the bottle it actually tells you which farm, so it's Dunlosset Farm, so it actually tells you where the barley's grown. So let's give it a nose. On the colour, more or less, well, it's very similar to the uh, the organic. A little bit darker, in fact, a little bit darker than the organic. If you just compare, so that's the Isla Barley, that's the organic. So it's slightly darker. 50%. Let's give us a nose. Mm. Again, it's... Uh, it's a multi-vintage or no-age statement, as people like to call it. It just means they've used a variety of ages rather than just you know bottling a set age, if you like. So they could use some young whiskey and some older whiskey to give it a really good balance. So on the nose, it's kind. It's basically, mate. It reminds me of. The organic a lot. It's kind of like an augmented version of the organic, just bigger. So you've got that vanilla coming back, but it's much more spicy. I'm not sure whether that's because of the strength, but it kind of heavy, heavy white and black pepper. There's a there's a refined sugary sweetness to it as well so honey honey vanilla barley sugar it's an overused term but definitely get barley sugar it's quite grassy this one as well in fact very very grassy very grassy with kind of a lemony sweetness, so that kind of citrus notes back as well. I'll tell you what it does remind me of, you know that, you know icing sugar? Reminds me of icing sugar. And with a kind of a slight chilli, chilli powder kick. So there's a kind of quite a spiciness to it. Right, let's give it a taste. Mmm, that's really spicy, but but it is light bodied, so don't confuse spiciness with being kind of heavily bodied. It's light, so the flavours I'm getting have a hint of tropical fruits, 
orange, orange juice. It has a slight kind of beery maltiness, so you can kind of definitely taste the malt. Mm. Yeah, definitely that, definitely that kind of beery, kind of beery, familiar. You know, if you walk into a pub, like an, an ale pub, you can just smell that kind of the malty ale. It's like that. That's a kind of really kind of pleasant, pleasant taste. So let's give it another try. Mmm. Now on a second taste, much more nutty. Uh, cereals. I get kind of sugar puffs. Maize. Again, that barley note comes through the beery malt. It's just like it's a kind of a. It is an augmented version of the organic, if you like. So let's give it a third and final taste. Now the third taste, that kind of spice comes back in, so you get kind of chilli powder note and the kind of spiciness, the chilli spice stays on the finish, but the finish is fairly short again, it kind of dips quite fast. But again, very, very, very pleasant, um, a good summer malt, quite refreshing, um, if you're going to drink this over a longer period of time, um, you might want to add a drop of water and I think that would really bring it out but I always would review my whiskies without water to keep it consistent so yeah to mark this it's really hard to say it's quite similar to the organic um, it's got a little bit more kick to it it is 50% so it's stronger um, I think I'm gonna have to go with the same mark I think I'll say seven and a half out of ten for the 2006 Brooklady Isla Bali. Thoroughly pleasant whiskey. Really, really, really drinkable, and I look forward to drinking the rest of that. So, yeah, please share the video, and I will see you next week, guys, for another Brooklady review. Cheers.